What is up everyone, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan video and today we're going to be looking at Gohan, Piccolo, Gohan Ten and Shonks, and Pan's Kit uh, on Twitter. So um, yeah, so uh, if you would like to follow me on Twitter, be sure to leave a follow, link will be on the description down below and uh, yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, there, okay, there is either dude. Okay, never mind, we're on Twitter. Let's look at their kit. So, uh, leader scare, bond of, uh, leader scale, their leader scale, bond of friendship, category, K plus 3, and HP, attack and defense plus 130%. Nothing special, nothing good. I mean, they're new, so, um, who knows? <sighs> Here's the passive skill. Hero helpers. Randomly changes E A G L key spheres to key spheres of another type. Attack and defense plus one per one hundred percent. Plus an additional attack and defense plus ten percent when performing a super attack per superheroes. Category ally on your team, plus an additional attack and defense plus one hundred percent with the key, uh, with three or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional defense plus 50% and a high chance of performing a critical hit with 5 or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional attack plus 50% and great chance of launching an additional super attack with 7 or more key spheres obtained. So a superhero new category. I'll assume it is because I've never seen that category before. So yeah, that was... Oh, that's it? Okay. So yeah, that was about it for... Um, Go ten and oh there you go. This is super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So um yeah, let's go to Pan. We are getting a new tier or pan. So let's see what she can do. Bond and pair in a cow category, key plus three, and it's HP etc etc plus one thirty percent. Again, not good. But here's her path to skill. Say super new blood. K plus 2 and attack and defense plus 150%. Superheroes, category allies, key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 30%. Plus an additional key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 20% for characters uh, who also belong to the Bond of Parent and Child or Bond of Master and Disciple. I think she will go well with Vegeta and Jones, but that's just me. So, um, okay, where was that? Ah, yes. Category medium chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks plus an additional chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks plus 30% when facing only one enemy at the start of the turn launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies at the start of the turn plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% and a high chance of performing a critical hit for four turns after evading an attack. She doesn't seem too bad. And here is her maiden rush, and raises attack and defense for one turn, and costs this ultimate damage or whatever. So yeah, that was T.U.R. Pan. So, nothing too crazy really, but I, I, I bet she's gonna go really good with Beast Gohan and, uh, not Beast Gohan, Ultimate Gohan and, uh, Piccolo. So here is Piccolo. Uh, we are getting to the LR1 forms, and then he has a giant form. Nothing too special. Okay, so, um, leader skill, superheroes or battle of wits category, key plus 3, and HP, attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP, attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Bond of Master and Disciple or Movie Heroes category. So, um, yeah, the- Oh yeah, he gives off a 200% leader skill, okay, I have to think for a second, but yeah. Battle of Wits though. I'm, I'm actually really glad Battle of Wits is getting uh, another decent leader, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's too good or not. Sorry. Then here's the passive skill. Passive skill of it. Piccolo activates the entrance animation once only and attack and defense plus 100% and guards all attacks for 3 turns from the start of the turn when there is another bond of Master and Disciple. So Pan will go pretty decent with Piccolo. Category ally on the team at the start of character's attacking turn, attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional key plus 1 per key spear obtained. Reduces damage by 20%, that's really good, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with, with each attack 
Oh crap, I lost my- I lost where I was. Oh, there it is. With each attack, received up to 150% all allies. Key plus 2 within the same turn. After receiving an attack, if HP is 30% or less at the start of a, of a character's attacking turn, after the character receives an attack 7 or more times in battle, fully recovers HP. Only once. Plus an additional damage reduction of 30% starting from that turn. Hopefully I read it decently. And then here his is, and then here he, um, wow, I'm sorry guys, here is his after skill, giant form. Okay, let's see what we can do. Can be activated when all allies attack it in the same turn are superheroes categories, uh, category characters from, starting from, okay, let me restart, I'm sorry. Can be activated when all allies attack it in the same turn are superheroes categories, characters starting from the third turn from the start of the battle or when facing only one enemy starting from the 6th turn from the start of the battle. So, um, yeah, he's, his after skill is really good, uh, is really not that hard to activate. Especially when you are, like, using a superhero team, then, uh, you can actually get it immediately. But even if you don't have it, just survive for 6 turns, it ain't gonna hurt you, I'm sure. I mean, that's me and the Goku Legends fighting event. He would be extremely easy on the, uh, uh, go, uh, on my showcasing Goku Legend Fighter event because, yeah, Zamasu's um after skill was a little bit tacky to pull off. Yeah. Okay, so here's the super attack effect: greatly raises defense and then raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage. Blah blah blah. And then here's his super attack at or ultra attack: greatly a great um. Oh, okay. Okay. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes blah blah blah, mega colossal damage supreme thingy thing. Good. Oh. Huh? Wait, I thought his transformation was only an active skill. I might. Oh. Oh, I'm stupid. Alright, okay, okay. This is him during his giant form. Alright. Okay, leader skill is the same, um, passive skill, okay. Passive skill effect, receives an additional key plus two per key sphere, obtains launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That's about it for orange pickler, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Greatly raises attack temporarily, blah, 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 causes colossal damage. Massively raises attack and then causes, cause colossal damage. Okay. And then finally, we have Beast Gohan. So, uh, so, um... Uh, he doesn't look too bad. Let's just we just can't see what he does. Superheroes or hybrid Saiyans. Category key plus three and an HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for character child who also belongs to the bond of parent and child or movie heroes category. So yeah, you get that 200% if you uh maybe if you run hybrid Saiyans, you have a great chance of getting that 200% because hmm, obviously. This hybrid Saiyans, <laughs> like chunks. Gohan, definitely Gohan. Pastor scale, beyond ultimate power. Okay, let's go. Add to face the entrance animation once only. And attack and defense plus 100% and guards all attacks for 3 turns from the start of the turn when there is another bond apparent and cloud category ally on your team at the start of a character's attacking turn. There you go. Attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each super attack performed up to 150%. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when key is 20 or more. Attacks effective against all types when activating the active skill or when key is 24. High chance of nullifying key blast super attacks directed at the character. Not bad. So I'm gonna call this someone, so I forgot to turn my volume down. Active skill, special beam cannon. Uh, can be activated when all allies attacking on the same turn are superheroes or oh wait I screwed up sorry can be activated when all allies attacking in the same turn are superheroes category characters starting from the third turn from the start of the battle or facing one enemy is starting from the sixth turn of the start of the battle so that's not bad not hard to activate his either after skill effect Greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy, disables enemy's actions once within the turn. And yeah, here here is his little that. 
Super attack effect greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Oh, okay, that's good. Greatly, get greatly raises attack and defense for one turn causes mega colossal damage ultimate Gohan thing beast mode thing. Okay, play. and uh, and lowers attack and defense to enemy. Okay, so that's not bad. So that's about it, right? Yeah, that's about it for Gohan. Is there any more? Okay, so that is about it. I don't know what the free-to-play gammas can do, actually. There aren't no for actually using them, though. Anyways, yeah. That's about it. That's uh, all of the main people's kits that we are going to use. So what do you think? Uh, besides Beast Gohan and Sadly being an after skill, what do you think about Beast Gohan, Piccolo, Pan, and Gohan and, not Gohan, Goten and Shanks? Uh, post your opinions down below, and um, yeah, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.